Hi everyone, it's Jodie here. Um, just going to do a bit of a talk over. Uh, this is actually my second attempt. First one I managed to delete, so I am very happy about that. No, I'm not. Uh, right, must uh, remind myself not to push the X button when I have finished talking, because that will just delete it again. Right, this one, this what I'm doing at the moment um, is I am working in one of my recycled books. First off I lay down, um, well actually I think it's just got some distress paint, a creamy colour, a lavender, a creamy colour, probably a bit of white gesso as well. I've placed that onto a page that's got a bit of um, painter's tape in the centre just to protect it. And I had some inspiration. Well, this was supposed to be just a fun page after doing my previous two videos that, that took a bit out of me because they were for my dad and I've not painted for anybody so I found it quite stressful. But anyway, they're behind me now. So uh, this was, yeah, as I said, was supposed to be a fun page. Just um, I had some inspiration of... I suppose I've seen these uh, forest children on a movie and I had um, also had been mucking about when I was doing those ATCs that I've done in the past where I've done a lot of mermaids and I've done the women with owls in their hair and I thought, oh, what about mushrooms? Get some mushrooms coming out of girls heads and things like that but then when you go to do it it just looked really stupid so I well mine do anyway so I thought oh I know what I'll do I'll do um crowns of mushrooms so that's what this is about this is uh, mushroom crowns for the forest queens because that's what they wear moss and all sorts of things so I am using a mixture of Distress Paint by Tim Holtz. I have a bit of a selection of those. I can buy those here in New Zealand. They're quite good because they're quite matte. And I also are uh, using Ceram Coat by Delta. Now these are also like student grade hobby craft paint. I can't buy these in New Zealand. So they are from the Jane Davenport store in Australia. And I know people in America and possibly, I'm not sure about anywhere else in the world, they can probably buy them. But we can't in New Zealand. So that's a bit of a bummer. Uh, what else have I used on this? I have used, well, I think white, most of my white I've used the gesso just to keep it matte and I have also used um, I've got some acrylic wood what do you call it zig woodcraft markers they're acrylic I've got a collection of those that I brought from the Jane Davenport store too because you can't buy those here and I have also got, oh, I think these are Montague, what, no, what are they? So I've got another, uh, just a couple other, I think they're Montague, but I can't read the um, descriptions because they put the colour of the writing in the same colour as a paint so that makes it a bit difficult to see I'll just see if I can I saw well, I'm going blind that yeah Mon Montana Yes, Montana paint pens. Um, I'm sorry about my head. 
When the camera or my phone is on the left hand side I had to delete quite a few pictures or parts of this because my head was in the way, my shoulder was in the way, I kept hitting it um, so I'm really sorry plus the fact that it took a long time to paint these as well. I spent an awful long time fluffing about with the girls faces and going over and over and so even though this is about 20 something, 27 minutes long it took a few more hours, quite a few hours probably about five, five or six hours of painting um, so I've managed to I've, well I, hopefully I've tried kept in enough so you can sort of see what I'm doing but I also had to delete quite a lot because as I said my head was in the way so I'm really sorry about that I do move the camera to the other side later on and um, then of course it was sort of on the right hand side it was in the my hand was in the way you can't quite see what I'm doing so I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do about that I just really must apologise that's quite a bad bit there I thought I deleted all the bad bits out of here I'm really sorry about my shoulder um, hopefully it won't be so bad again like I said I did try and get rid of as much as I could in my hair <laughs> annoying I'm sorry um, just doing details, always details. I've got my trusty paint palette, which is a old pie tin tray. I put Glad Wrap over it. That helps to keep the paint wet for a while. Um, I do have retarder, but it seems to alter the paint. It goes all. It's probably because I put the wrong ratio in. Um, I had a bit of trouble later on, you will see me doing the hair, I had quite a bit of trouble with that, I need to practice hair more, I'm quite happy with my progress on how I am getting better at side turn faces, I think everything that I time I paint I try to push challenge myself and um, because when I even look back to when I first started doing the YouTube videos which is not quite a year ago I can see improvements so heads up out there just if you're doing art keep Whatever you do, if, if you think, don't stop um, painting something. Don't chuck it away because you can always paint over it. Or sometimes you can just, once you've walked away from it, even for three months, six months, whatever, you might walk back and have another look at it and you see it with fresh eyes and you can say, oh, maybe I'll just try this and next thing you know, you you know you've achieved what you set out to do in the first place it's just because it's you know you you just sometimes can't see where, you, where you're going wrong our brains are marvelous at self-correcting so the longer we look at something not only do we get really critical but we also correct mistakes so take a photo of it because you can see things differently through by looking at a photo and as I said if you're stuck on something just put it aside start something else and you know go back to it you can always delete it meaning paint over it and start again or sometimes you can just finally figure out where you were going wrong well I think I'm going to stop jibber jabbering I think the only other things I used near the end were the Faber-Castell um, I mixed Faber-Castell big brush pens put them down and then I used those 
acrylic paint pens over the top and they mixed quite well. You don't want to do that the other way around. You don't want to put your Faber-Castell brush pens over wet paint because you'll wreck them. So it's best to go the other way. I'll, and the other things I used were Prismacolor just for the final details when I'd finished. Um, well, all I can say now is uh, this time I will make sure I don't push the wrong button when I stop talking and I will attempt to put some music on and I hope you enjoy watching the rest of this video and hope you guys will give me a thumbs up hope you like this one and um, you know if you've got any questions you want to ask me I'm more than happy to reply and I for all those that do art out there thanks for the inspiration yourselves and everybody who who does do art keep on drawing painting doing what you do creating it's good for you we'll just mention here too that I'm just putting in the placement of all the mushrooms just using up some of the leftover paint plus it's always good to put like base down um, I think a bit of secret is always to do layer and layer and layer it it adds depth, it adds interest. So, not that I'm any, you know. <laughs> I just know from what I do that I, I like the more layers that something has. It just, just looks good. Anyway, as I said, I will stop jibber-jabbering and I will try and put some music on. Thanks for watching and... Uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of your day or evening and happy creating. Bye.